Search the web for the best iPhone deals. Show me how to solve a quadratic equation. Give me five facts about Rome. Well, it's 2024, and if you're not using ChatGPT, you need to start using it now. ChatGPT has changed massively since last year. And if you're not using it daily, you're missing out on making your life much easier. Let me show you how. Well, the first thing I want you to do is open up your browser and go to chatgpt.com. And once you're there, you'll see this screen and we can go ahead and sign up for an account. So go ahead and go to sign up and then go ahead and put your email address in and your password. And then just go ahead and fill out this information. And then we're good to go and we can get started. Now, one of the great things it can do is analyze a PDF. So let's go ahead and upload a PDF and you can do that by clicking this little paper clip icon down here. So click that, then go upload from computer. And then I'm gonna to go to my iCloud and choose a PDF. So I'll do this killer intro.pdf. And I'm just gonna ask it to give me five key points about this. So I'm gonna go ahead and send that. And then it gave me a response back. This is really powerful. And to add on to the response, we can actually have ChatGPT read this response out aloud. All you have to do is go to the little icon where it has audio. And if you hover over it, it says read aloud. Just click that and it will actually read this to you. Here are five key points from the document you uploaded. One, show don't tell. Focus on visually demonstrating your message rather than just explaining it with words. This can be powerful if maybe you're interacting with ChatGPT to learn language or you've written some short story, for example, and you want to read back aloud so you can hear how it sounds. Okay, I also just wanna show you how you can have ChatGPT describe an image for you. And this can be really powerful also, but we're gonna go ahead and create a new chat. So at the top left, this little pencil icon with the sort of square, you'll say new chat, just click that. And now we're gonna begin a new chat. So I want to upload another image. So I'm gonna click the paperclip icon, go to upload from my computer, go to my downloads, and I have this soup image. And what I would like it to do is give me a recipe just solely based off this image alone. And what it's done is just off the image, it's given us a list of ingredients and also instructions on how to create that soup just from the image. And not only that, it also added a new chat on the left-hand side here called vegetable soup recipe. So now we have two different chats and they're kind of organized based on what we were talking about. And there we go. I just went over how simple it can be to use ChatGPT in some of its most powerful uses. Now, there are more things you can do with it. And right here, I have a video you can watch that gives you 17 tips and tricks on ChatGPT to help you out. Thank you for watching. I'll see you next video.